Hello, in part two of this presentation, I'm going to show examples of how to calculate bond value. So in this first example, we have this bond with a face value of $1,000 and a coupon interest rate of 8%. Remember, coupon rate is what determines the fixed interest payments that you're going to be receiving every period. In this case, it's going to be 8% of a thousand bucks. Here's a calculation and it comes out to be 80 bucks every year. Let's say the bond maturity is five years and right now in the market interest rates have dropped to seven percent so that that is the yield to maturity and here's a nice little timeline to illustrate this uh, valuation. It's a five-year bond every year it pays you 80 bucks and in the fifth and final year you're gonna get paid your final eighty dollars plus the face value which is the par value or the maturity value that the firm is going to give back to you for a total amount of 1080 and so you have a choice as to how to tackle this problem first you can reach back into your bag of uh, time value of money tricks and use the basic present value uh, calculation all right recognizing that there are three things that you're going to be needing you're going to need to know the cash flows which is going to be the coupon payments in addition to the face value of a thousand bucks. Secondly, you're going to be mindful of the maturity value, which in this case is five years. So you're going to do this for five, uh, for five years. And finally, you're going to want to know the required rate of return, which is a market interest rate, AKA yield to maturity in the case of a bond. And here it is 7%. So when you plug and play, it comes out to be 1,041. And as you can see here, this is a premium bond because this bond has a price, a value greater than a thousand dollars. We're not surprised about that because as you can see if I go back here you see that this bond pays you interest at eight percent which is greater than the current market interest rate of seven percent. So you get a little bit of a smile on your face and that's why your bond is selling at a premium. Secondly you can go ahead and use the financial calculator and what we use here is the BA2 plus right here. So with the BA2 plus let's pull it up and hook it up. So right here, before you again use this calculator for every uh, work that you want to do, first uh, after you clear the screen by hitting this button right here, go second clear TVM, so that's clear TVM, and second clear work, that's clear work. These are second functions. So let's go ahead and do this. So the cash flows in blue, 80 bucks. So type 80, and we're going to use a third row of keys. All right, that's payments, the coupon payments, and then 1,000, and that's phase value, which is also the future value of the bond. And then right here, 5, the number goes before the sign. So 5 is N, and finally 7 is I over Y, which is the required rate of return. And then you compute CPT right here, compute PV. And you can get rid of this negative here by hitting this key right here. And that's your price, 1041 All right, so going back here, right, the second example um, is a, a bit more realistic because actually, as I pointed out earlier, bonds pay interest semi-annually. So what that means is that your coupon payment, rather than it being 80 bucks every year, is going to be 40 bucks every six months. And of course, at the end of the, upon maturity, you're going to get uh, $1,000 back. The maturity of, of the bond, which is five years, translates to 10 semi-annual periods, 10 six-month periods, that is. And finally, the required rate of return, that it's an annual rate of 7%, comes out to be 3.5% per half a year. And that's what we're going to put in. And when we do so, it, it comes out to be 1,041. And let's go ahead and show it up right here once again. All right, so clear the screen, second clear TVM, second clear work. And so move this aside a little bit. So the cash flows in blue would be 40, which is payment. It's going to be 1,000, which is phase value, and 10, which is N, and 3.5, which is I over Y. And you compute PV. Get rid of the negative by hitting this plus minus key. And that's your final, an final answer. And for good measure, if you want, the third way you can hook this up is to use spreadsheets. But with spreadsheet, you got to put in your input first of all, as you see right here. And so the semi-annual equivalent, if I come out here to show you what I did earlier, you come here, equal, reference the phase value, enter, come here, equal, 
reference the coupon payment slash 2 to divide by 2 to give you the semi-annual coupon rate and then maturity period is hit equal click on this five years but you multiply it by 2 to get the number of uh, semi-annual periods contained in five years and finally the required rate of return equals 7 percent you got to divide it by 2 so as to get the semi-annual equivalent of 3.5 percent to get this price or this value of 1041.58 use that's your cheat sheet right here that's the uh, function so hit equal and type PV uppercase lowercase again it doesn't matter open parenthesis and actually Excel shows it to you right here rate number of periods payment and future value if you have it and we do so looking over here I'm gonna hit on this cell containing the rate comma and then number of periods is gonna be this comma and then for cash flow payments, I'm going to type negative and reference it. And the reason I'm doing that is so that my calculated value would show as positive. And then finally, uh, for my future value, which is a phase value, again, I'm going to hit equal, uh, negative and I click on it right there. And then I, I close parenthesis and that's my result, which comes out nicely as uh, a positive amount. So I'm just playing a game with uh, the uh, equation uh, function right there. And then the uh, third and final uh, example right here um, is one that um, shows us um, how to calculate another problem uh, assuming semi-annual uh, payments. All right, it says here the coupon rate on a nine-year bond is 5%. Calculate the value of the bond if the yield to maturity, which is the current market interest rate, is 8.4%. And the coupon rates and coupon is paid semi-annually. Again, I made the adjustments here. On purpose, I didn't write the face value of the bond in this problem. And that's the point I want to make because if you do not see face value, you must assume it to be $1,000 because face value of a bond is in, is in thousands. All right, so at the basic level, just use $1,000. Number of years is nine, but semi-annually, 18 periods. And the required rate of return broken into two will give you 4.2. And if you do, do what we did earlier, it's gonna come out to be 788.25. Now though, observe that this is a discount uh, bond. And we're not surprised because as you can see here, the coupon interest that you're receiving is 5%, but right now, market interest rate is above it, 8.4. So you are not as pretty as what the situation is in the market. No wonder your bond price is below $1,000. Anyhow, here's a practice for you. It says a corporate bond pays annual coupon interest at the rate of 5.5. Phase value is 1,000. Maturity is 6 years. Yield to maturity is 4. So I've kind of laid it out here for you. So go ahead and uh, check it out and find what the value is. And that's it.